Hello and welcome back to Snow Runner and our hard mode adventure. Attempting this challenge. Now we are picking up exactly where we left off. We are in our P16 after just returning the trucks and we are going to jump into our Land Rover, which is over here. And we are going to head out to the uh, Island Lakes. That's our plan. We need to get that scouted out. I need to try and bring a little bit of fuel, probably one of the little scout fuel trailers. We'll bring that through. And then we'll take the P12, the P12, P16, and that'll meet us at the international that we can recover in the dam. And then hopefully we can then try and recover the what, um, White Western just there on the map as well. We recover the White Western for a, uh, a contract for a task and then once we've done that we return it, we get to keep it and then that's going to help us do some more deliveries. These big boy tyres then <laughs> they're going to cause us some issues I think on the way there but we should be fine. This is going to be our quickest route of getting around the map and, and trying to do this hopefully. Could probably take a lot of shortcuts off road, but being hard mode, I don't want to risk getting it stuck because we, we don't have uh, like an, uh, an autonomous wench, wench, or an autonomous winch. We certainly don't have an autonomous winch, but an autonomous winch. Yeah, these big tyres should uh, should help us out though when we get into uh, Island Lake because it is swampy there. I think we'll also, hopefully, um, before we go through with the, the P16, we'll try and rescue the Chevrolet Kodiak that's here. We'll drag that and repair that and refuel that as well. So we'll, but we'll drag that around the map a little bit, I think, rather than trying to cut everything with the, the P16. We'll see what we can do with regards to that. There is lots to do on the lake. We've got, or Island Lake, I always call it the lake, but Island Lake. I think there's four, I thought there was two. I think there's three or four upgrades left to collect from there. We still need to hit, because we haven't been there yet. Uh, it's five, six watchtowers, lookout posts. Plenty to do. We'll try and get as much of that done and then bring back the fuel. Because that will give us the XP. And you know, we need that to uh, unlock some uh, extra upgrades and more tyres. We want to get better tyres for all of our trucks that we're going to be using. I think even the road trucks wouldn't mind getting some better tyres for. The Kodiak or the International will most likely be used just for burying fuel around. We'll have a truck that's just doing that. We haven't completed that task yet because we do want to get a little bit more fuel out of there, actually. <laughs> the brakes on this. We'll top up while we're here. We'll make sure everything is topped up on this. That would make sense. So if we refuel... Oh yeah, fuel carry needs some as well. And the brake rack. sword. So there's only about 300 litres left in there to take out for us because we have to return or we have to deliver it with 200 litres. But there is a second uh, fuel tanker like that on the map that needs delivering that also has the same amount of fuel in it and then there's the big one and we need to get that big one delivered really because that's what's going to hold up the, the next lot of quests here. We have a trailer to deliver for that. So quite a few jobs to do. 
we're still still in the early stages of just opening up the maps really we just sort of sidetracked and did a few other jobs along the way to, to try and get us some money and some XP but we've still got things to find and things to do we have a western western star 6900 to uh, to find as well in Ireland Lake Now, in all my previous playthroughs, I've, I've never really used it. But we will be using it this time because we don't have other trucks. I normally use different trucks. So that'll probably be the first time that I get any real use from me. It's a good truck. It's a brilliant truck. Especially later on if we can get some, some better tyres for it, I think. Maybe an engine upgrade on it. has a four bed trailer on it. It is a four bed trailer truck. So you can do a fair, fair amount of hauling with that. And we've got a lot of sort of four bed trailer haulages to do later on. So let's move through. Back in the dam. There was a job. We've still got that to deliver. The trailer is just sitting there. We'll see what sort of fuel is in that. We need to find the antenna. If we trigger that contract. Have we not triggered that yet? We haven't. Okay, so we'll we'll go and we'll get that and then we'll go and find the antenna because the antenna is just down here. That's an easy one for us. Getting a little wayward, but if there's things we can do along the way, we might as well do them. I'm not sure if we even have really taken much out here, but we will. Oh, we have to quite a bit. So we will... Have that for us. Now I know that some people worry about fuel a lot when they do a hard mode. Now having never completed the map on hard mode, I don't know how much we actually need. But I think there is more than enough that we can deliver some of these without draining them completely of uh, their fuel. And if we do run out, you know what? We can always buy some. That's not the worst thing. It's always nice to have money to to maybe save up to buy the extra uh, trucks and stuff if we need them. But we will gather up trucks as we go along. As we go to each new map, there are new trucks to recover. So we should be good for trucks. And I am also contemplating that once, and this is a long way off, I have long, long term plans, and we may never get there. This, 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 <laughs> we may completely fail our challenge of hard mode. But once we've done the, the three base maps, because I did say we just worked through everything in order, but I think everyone that has probably done a series. Let's work through them in order. So, I'm thinking, once we've done the three base maps, we might change it up a little bit. Try them out a little bit different. To see what we get. Because then also, we'll have different vehicles for other maps. We won't have it exactly the same as everyone else has. I think that could be a little bit more interesting. 
say we have some season 12 or season 11 uh, trucks and equipment available on I don't know season 5 maps without having to sort of go back or do everything that is a way that we can do it oh I forgot we left these out because we've triggered a lot of these things already so there are there are bits out on the map that's fine So you guys have to let me know what you think about that. That I am recording these ahead, but we won't be uh, three maps ahead. We'll just be a, a few episodes ahead. And I was initially, as I would have said in previous episodes, initially hoped to release this one a day, like Monday or Friday. But due to some changes at home and free time, and available time to record and get stuff done, going to be going for three days a week. Now, if I get far enough ahead that I can release the more frequent, I will. Because a day a day, like in our episodes, is a day a day, so it would be nice if we have been able to get that out as a day a day as well, but not always possible. Possible? Excuse me. So that is for some of those things that are out on the on the map that we need to go and pick up. Now I think we should be able to just toss up the uh, the riverbank. I say horse. Just so we can go and trigger this. There we go, we got a little bit more bit more grip. We do have a nice roof rack, so we, we can afford to be a little bit more flippant with our adventures when we're in the Land Rover. Because when we're out in the trucks, we don't want to get caught short. That's, that's the concern. But as I've already said, I'm not a logistical master, and I don't sort of overthink the logistics of it. I just I just know roughly where I'd like to have some stuff. Just at main junction points. The old trailer. When we get into Island Lake, there are so many fuel trailers. And we'll probably use one of the main roads through Island Lake as a, an easier route through to get to Drummond. Because then we just... It sort of swings and roundabouts, really. Do you go through the marsh or do you wind round the mountain? That's sort of your choice, really. To find the antenna, except we'll start tracking that. That's just over in that direction. If you want to see me play a, a slightly different way, I <laughs> say slightly different way, a very different way, um, we do live stream Snow Runner over on Twitch. And at the point of recording this, we're about to leave Michigan and head to Alaska. And uh, I've said on that, and I've said here, that running the two together don't really help this, this series. Because it's done so good, we have all sorts of mods running and different trucks and vehicles. Like, I've got like six, six trucks out on the map in Michigan, at least, doing different things. And obviously, you can't do that on hard mode, so it's, it's not even comparable to, to getting things done. Let's see if we can go down this side, see if that's a little bit, a little bit easier for us. Sometimes coming off that track, 
or, or any track, if you can find a reasonably flat bit of turf, it's better than being on the track. The track points you in the direction, roughly, of where you want to go. But because it's just so churned up, it's always so slow. If you've got no option, obviously you take it. But if you can get up on the side, on the verge, or maybe just beyond the tree line, like we did on the riverbed, much easier. doing. That's not going to rub out. Oh, we're going to drive back into it. Come on. Did we manage to restock our repair parts? We did. Oh, we can repair some more, I think. No, nope, we're good. Excellent. So we've still got 66 parts. Not particularly one broken truck. here. Repair the truck. Everybody. I thought we repaired this truck. Did we not do this? What does it need? Oh, it needs quite a bit. Thank you. We haven't brought. I thought we'd brought that over before. We haven't. We shall have to remember that when we repair our other trucks. We'll uh, or collect the other trucks up. We'll we'll repair that as part of it because we'll we'll probably use what's left over in the uh, repair trailer to uh, to fix our own. So we go round. Here should be able to. That's our exit out. Where we'll be going? Just want to quickly nip up here. Four hundred and an extra eighty XP. Now, did we? We must have triggered this when we come past before. But I'll just check because I have such a poor memory. We have. We're not going to do that. I want to get on with uh, exploring Island Lake. We'll come back and we'll do the do the trail later on. We'll save that for a bit of fun near the end. I think. Let's make sure we crack on and get get this done. Take a lower gear for the descent. It's not always necessary, but it saves saves the vehicle running away from you.
the lakes we go. Here we are. Right, let's get ready to get stuck. <laughs> get stuck in the mud. So, we will just refuel quickly. Here we are. We've still got 300 left. That's a lot. So, we're going to go and take sort of an anti clockwise approach. So here we'll hit as many triggers like before we'll hit as many triggers as we can there are quite a few bridges to build here and the wood that we initially need for that is actually on Smithsville Dam there's a trailer full of wood there that's not needed on Smithsville and that we can use here initially like in the past I've always come here opened up everything else and then built the bridges once I've set up the, uh, the sawmill, the lumber mill. But I think on hard modes best to try and use what there is and save ourselves some time with the extra running around. Is slow and muddy here. Slow and muddy. So we've got. Ah, oh, I've done what I always do as well. There's. I'll show you the map. I always forget, and I do this on stream as well. This right turn directly beforehand. So we'll just do a loop around, I guess. But there's one of the bridges we need to build. Is one of the fuel trailers. And we will wait flip through properly. There we go. We'll just we'll, every time we hit one of these we will stop ourselves up. It just makes sense. There are none of the fuel trailers on here need to be delivered anywhere, so we can take what we want. No real worry there. So I've got to try and think in my head now. We want to go to that lookout instead. We'll do the internal loop and then we'll do an external loop. probably spend a, quite a bit of time in low gear. Not all our time, but quite a bit. As you can see, it is wet. Wet, 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 wet. So from here, we can go north, I think. I think we can. Again, it's going to get wet. But this is going to bring us to one of the fuel trailers that I, that I want to take back anyway. Plus there's a truck that we can try and recover. We can just try and pull that back. We might be able to do that with our scout, actually. Not right now. We have a lumber yard here. 